Huntington's disease is named after Dr. George Huntington, who was a physician in Long Island, New York. He was in contact with families affected with the disease, and based on his observations, he published the first detailed description of the disease in 1872. Huntington's disease is a neurodegenerative hereditary condition. This means neuro, the disease mainly affects the brain. Degenerative, through the course of the disease, brain cells have more and more difficulty doing their job and eventually they gradually die. Hereditary, the disease is transmitted from one generation to the next. Huntington's disease mainly affects a region in the brain called the striatum. The striatum has several parts, including the caudate nucleus and the putamen. We know that other parts of the brain are touched as well because the brain of a person affected with Huntington's will shrink through the course of the disease. This is called atrophy. In general, the disease affects the person on three levels. Motor movement, cognitive learning and decision making, and psychiatric emotions and personality. These symptoms are described in further detail in other videos. It's important to remember that each affected person will show these symptoms throughout the course of the disease, but the order in which they appear, the duration and the severity of those symptoms will be different for each person. Huntington's disease is a progressive condition. An affected person will continue to deteriorate and develop new symptoms over the years. However, the progression is slow and on average the disease will progress over a period of 10 to 20 years. Huntington's disease affects men and women equally. Affected individuals are found on every continent and from every ethnic background. The number of affected persons varies from one place to another, but it's estimated that about one out of 10,000 people is affected with this disease. Most affected individuals are adults. Symptoms generally appear between the ages of 35 and 50. However, the age when the disease appears is variable and symptoms may occur earlier or later in life. It is estimated that about 10% of affected individuals will develop symptoms after the age 60. Symptoms of the disease may present in children. This is the juvenile form of Huntington's disease. It is estimated that about 10% of all affected individuals are children and are under the age of 20.